Alta Labs just made it a huge announcement from seemingly out of nowhere. They just dropped on us that they're releasing a 10 gigabit per second router. Now we don't have too many details about this device. They're claiming that it's gonna be a high performance and a disruptively priced device. Now we don't know how much it's gonna cost, but disruptively priced is a very interesting word to use when they're talking about routers that compete in that space. And why this is interesting is because it actually has 2.5 gigabit networking ports for your LAN ports and two SFP 10 gigabit SFP plus ports. Now, I don't know if that's gonna be shared bandwidth between the two or also shared bandwidth between the four ports that are 2.5 gigabit, 2.5 gigahertz. That'll be something that we'll have to find out a bit later, but that is still very interesting to learn about. Now, other cool things about this router is it also has PoE plus functionality, which is awesome. That means that we can plug in our Alta Labs controller into the router so that way they can be paired together. And uh, you don't have to have an external switch for that, or maybe you do have an external switch that can also power it, or it frees up ports on your switch. So if you have cameras, now you don't have to use one of the ports on your switch uh, for your controller. You can use that for a camera or something, a PoE camera, for instance. So that's really cool to see. Now the Route 10 uh, is PoE plus 802.3AF compliant. That's great news. That's gonna give us a really broad range of support. Right now they're saying that it has dual WAN support, assignable dual WAN. So we can either use the ethernet ports, the 2.5 gigahertz, 2.5 gigahertz, ah, I can't say it. The 2.5 gigabit ethernet port or the SFP plus ports for WAN. That's really cool to see. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get failover and or high availability with the SFP plus ports. That's gotta be a feature, I'm sure. Now we're also gonna get native VPN support with the router but we don't know if that's gonna be with OpenVPN, WireGuard, TailScale, or maybe just regular IPsec tunneling or something like that. That is something that I definitely wanna check out when it comes here, because VPN routers make things a lot easier, so you don't have to have a virtual machine um, always running or, uh, or even a container. But you know, there's pros and cons, obviously, in there with, with that, but we're not, gonna, we're not gonna get into that in this video. Now, they're also releasing something called AVoIP. I don't know what this is, I've never used it, so this could be something interesting for people who know what that is, but they don't really go into too many details. It just says utilize the router wherever you need a VoIP applications. Okay, cool, easy enough. And of course, it's gonna be easily integratable into our Alta Labs ecosystem. Obviously, this is one of the key components that Alta Labs has been sitting on. It's really cool to see they're coming right out of the gate with 2.5 gigabit and 10 gigabit SFP plus ports. That's seemingly unheard of like if you look at omada they came out with a router that was one gigabit ethernet and sfp which you know that's designed for businesses and they didn't even think about any clients that may have 2.5 5 gigabit or even 10 gigabit connections hell in my neighborhood right now i can get eight gigabit per second internet why do i need that i don't who needs that i have no idea i don't know who needs that kind of connection but those speeds are definitely available to people out there. One gigabit per second internet is no longer the fastest thing on the block. I could get two, I could get five, and pretty soon I'll be able to get 10. So really strong for Alta Labs to come out of the gate with that 10 gigabit connection and also 2.5 gigabit ethernet. So uh, big kudos there. Now, I think that's all the information I have about the router at this time. Again, it's called the Route 10. Obviously, if I can get my hands on one, I would love to cover it and introduce you guys to the product itself maybe even set up some VPNs so you guys know how to use it and things of that nature. So with all that being said, I wanna thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Peace.